Unit 9. Times have changed. Page 58, Exercise 2, Conversation. That's progress. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Remember how we used to rent videotapes at that little video store? Yeah. Now it's a multiplex cinema. And I hear they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. That's progress, I guess. Page 58, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a hair salon. Really? What about the Thai restaurant next to it? I loved that place. Oh, that's still there. Let's go there this weekend. I'll drive. I can pick you up. Great. Page 59, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Time Contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon there will be apartment blocks everywhere. People used to rent videotapes. Today, people download movies online. In a few years, movie theaters might not exist. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. People are going to have self-driven cars in the future. Page 59, Exercise 4, Pronunciation. Intonation in Statements with Time Phrases. Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Page 60, Exercise 5, Listening, For Better or For Worse. Part A. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. You can't go anywhere without one. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait a long time for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. The only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's too bad. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. 
Page 60, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and check if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. You can't go anywhere without one. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait a long time for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. The only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's too bad. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 61, Exercise 8. Perspectives. Take the good with the bad. Part A. Listen to some possible consequences of getting a high-paying job. Check the statements you agree with. If you get a high-paying job, you'll have more cash to spend. You'll be able to buy anything you want. You'll be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. You may get your own office. You won't have as much stress in your life. People will ask you for a loan. You'll have a lot more free time. Page 61, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation. Present. If you get a high-paying job. Consequence. Future with will, may, or might. You'll have more cash to spend. If you get a high-paying job, you'll have more cash to spend. If you have more cash to spend, you'll be able to buy anything you want. If you can buy anything you want, you won't save your money. If you don't save your money, you may need another job.